This video here is about 3D scanning something that's thin. If you have item that's like this, that's on the thin side, scanning the front and then scanning the back, aligning them may be a little hard just by trying to align it by this thin side. So these are the steps that you take to 3D scanning something that's thin. You can stand the item up or prop it up on something. You want to use markers there on items like this because you're going to use these items to help you scan the entire scene which is everything that you're setting up here. So we have something set up like this and then from there you simply start scanning. Generally start scanning straight down and just kind of filling in where the markers are. You could also do this with global marker tracking and then from there you just start to tilt it to the side so that you can get the sides of the item. And then once you got your one side, you want to tilt it and aim it back down. And this is where we're going to come around to the other side, just keeping everything down. And it starts to pick up on these markers here that are angled. And we can start to tilt the scanner back up to get this side over here. Then you just do the same thing. You can go back around. Again, you can also use global marker mode and do the same thing. You just want to make sure you have markers on items that are facing outward that simply allow you to tilt the scanner. If this was something that was very flexible, I wouldn't recommend flipping it because it would move and shift when you flipped it over. But since this is something that's pretty rigid, moving it wouldn't be a problem. But aligning the two scans from something that's thin like this would be. So it would be best to scan it like this. And then if you need to get the bottom portion, then you would be able to flip it I'll go ahead and do that here. Then we'll do a new scan, the same technique. And as you can see, we're now picking up on the bottom of this piece. We'll align it together once we finish the scan. And again, when going around the thin side, make sure that you're aiming down at the markers that you've placed down.
Then I'll go ahead and call that this is good enough for this example. So I'll stop the scan. Then we'll just batch fuse these, which will fuse both of the models individually. Now it's finished. So I'll just go ahead and clean up these pieces. Now we have the scan from bottom down and the scan from top down. We can merge them together. The future alignments might work here since we have these triangle points, but let's say your model didn't have it and you need to do manual. You need to align your pieces so that they're both facing the same way. As you can see, this is the top portion that we didn't scan. And this is the bottom portion that we didn't scan. So we're merging these two scans together to fill that in. Once you have both scans facing the same way, you can go ahead and pick your three points for alignment. Since we use markers, it makes it very easy to just zoom in and pick the markers. They're in the same location. Make sure to pick them far apart and not too close together. And as you can see, everything aligned will generate the model. and it finished meshing the model. You can see where we have the top that's merged in and the bottom part for a complete model. This texture here is actually part of it. You can't really make it out on camera, but it is right here. But you can take the smooth brush, and if you want to, you can smooth that out. You can also smooth out the markers. Majority of the times, I don't worry about it since I'm reverse engineering. So when reverse engineering, it doesn't affect the work that I do. But there you go. That's a video on how to scan a thin item. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.